Hey guys, how are you all doing? Patrick here. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at beginning to build a spacing. Uh, in particular, today we're just going to be focusing on doing a point cloud um, and using that to kind of build a star field or, or a galaxy. So this is going to be kind of the first part of building a spacing. Uh, so without further ado, why don't we take a look at Blender? We're going to be using Blender to build most of our assets for this scene. Uh, so I'll show you a bunch of different techniques you can use. Uh, this is going to be kind of a low poly space scene, so it's going to be very stylized. Uh, without further ado, I'm going to hop right in here and show you how to go about building uh, some crazy assets in Blender. So let's hop right in here. And let me turn my screencast on real quick just so you can see what keys I'm pressing. All right, and then let's just get our camera into position. So we're going to just set these values to 0, 0, 90, oop, 90, 0, and 0. All right, so that's going to set up our base scene for it, and we're also going to change our resolution to 1080 on that. All right. Actually, in fact, we can probably go a little bit smaller than that, but the 1080 is fine for now. All right, so let's get rid of our default cube. And we're going to add an icosphere to the scene. All right, so here's our icosphere. Let's increase the subdivisions on that. And then what we're going to do is go into object mode on that and select some random vertices on here. So come down here to select random. And we're just going to scale those slightly out to give it a little bit of variance. Okay, and then after that, let's go back into object mode. And we're going to apply the decimate modifier. And the decimate modifier is essentially going to basically make it so that it's not quite an icosphere anymore. So we're just going to decimate it so that it just gives us a, some random variation on that. All right, now let's switch over to the Cycles Render Engine. Apply. We can apply that modifier. And then come back into our scene view. Let's dolly the camera. Switch over to camera. And let's dolly it on the y-axis. Okay. And then why don't we go back overhead. And we're going to move our lamp slightly. So we'll put the lamp over here. Go back into our camera view. Dolly us a little bit more. All right, that's looking pretty good. Now let's go in and create a material for this. So we will do Icosphere, Material, switch over. We're going to switch this to render view. Alright, and then we're going to switch this to our UV, we're our node editor. Add a new material. And we're going to switch this to the tune shader. Okay. <clears throat> and now let's come down here, add a mix shader node. Put that in there. Okay, and then we're going to add a, another one. New gla glass should be fine. Okay, and then why don't we do one more thing? I'm going to come back over here, do Shift A, and we are going to add a point lamp to the center of this and bring down the intensity on that. until we get this kind of glowing moon rock look to it. Okay, so that looks pretty decent. So that's going to be our funky little star rock. Now I'm just going to come over here, change these settings, switch over to square sampling. And we'll bump up the render on that to maybe 20. Uh, turn on transparency. And then let's go ahead and render that out. Um, output. Yeah, that's fine. All right, render. Yeah, 
And again, this is going to be pretty small, so it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. Um, but the idea is, is that it's giving you this kind of weird, funky, glowy, kind of meteor-looking thing. All right, so it's very stylized. Again, it's fine for our purposes. I'm going to go ahead and save this now. And I am going, oops. All right, so let's go ahead and save this file. Totally did not mean to do that. Let me switch over. Image. going to go to my WebGL and I'm going to save this as stars. Hit save as image. Okay. So I have my file saved now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and open up the brackets file. And I'm going to show you what's going to happen here. Alright, so this is going to be a little bit different than what we've looked at in the past. So a point cloud essentially uh, is going to take a series of vertices and apply a texture or material onto it. So if I disable this texture, just so you guys can see this right, right now, let me disable this one little portion right here. I'll show you what this is going to look like. All right. All right, so essentially what it's doing is it's putting out these little square blocks all over the place. Now we don't want square blocks, we want little round blocks. So what we've done is made that texture, and that's what's going to replace everything this star field with. All right, so let's go and take a look at that. I'm going to go disable this map, enable this map, hit save on this, and come back over here, refresh, and we have our star field. Now what you'll notice is that it's kind of like mm, twinkling a little bit, in and out, and the maps are kind of getting bigger and smaller. Um, and this just to add like a little bit of a uh, dynamic movement to the scene, uh, just to make the stars kind of just just twinkle a tiny bit. All right, so how do you go about doing this? All right, I'll show you. All right, first thing, what we're doing is uh, I've created basically a couple different things: geometry and a couple functions that are going to handle everything. Now. This is going to create our cloud geometry, okay? So what it's doing is creating a new vector 3. Vector 3 basically uh, just means x, y, z axis with no scaling, okay? Um, so essentially what it's doing is taking the x, y, z axis, and it's basically assigning a vertice to three of those po points right there, okay? And you can see this is a for loop going through... Each iteration, it's randomly placing uh, a vertice within this region right here, which is 1 through 500. Okay? And then after afterwards, it's pushing them um, into this this uh, into this into value, this um, geometry, basically. So we're taking our geometry, and we're sticking it in this function, and then this function is pushing, those, pushing that value right into that geometry and creating that geometry. Then after that geometry is created, it's going to turn it into a cloud. Okay, so how does it go about turning it into a cloud? Basically, the first thing we do is we load up a texture and assign it to a variable. Then we load up a material, and this one is specifically going to be the point cloud material. You need to use the point cloud material um, with with uh, these, these point clouds. Um, I've tried to create animated things. It doesn't render. Uh, and you can't, so you're not going to be able to use any animated sprites or do anything like that. Uh, so what I've done instead, in order to make it a little bit more dynamic, was that I actually just changed the scaling on it and created a little animation that just varies the scaling on it. So we're going to add that point cloud to the scene. And there's our, our particles that have just been added. And then we're going to have our update size right in here. Okay, and this is going to be a function that basically changes the size of the particles. Okay, how does that work? Uh, essentially, what it's going to do is it's going to count up to 100. Okay, and once it reaches that modulus of 100, it's going to count back down. 
okay and then it's going to continue to go back up and then this is just going to provide us a value of of scaling from like uh, one uh, one hundredth to uh, to one basically and that's going to change the scaling on that according to that again here's our frame rate equation uh, it's a little bit cleaned up from the last one you saw so basically uh, it's going to take a frame rate of every um, one every 15 frames or whatever for per second so and that is the basic function uh, I showed you this last time so but that's about it that that will create our little star field um, we're gonna be looking at adding more stuff to the scene and kind of making a whole uh, composite um, viewable image let me update that real quick and it hopefully in the next few days this will look really awesome anyways thanks again for watching this uh